Now, 90% of Adelaide's drinking water contains fluoride. People against its use have long been lumped in with conspiracy theorists and, it, and the anti-vaccination movement. But are we missing something? With a new wave of detractors and studies pointing to a number of alarming findings, including links to thyroid disorders, depression, even cancer. Helen Wellings has the story. The effects of fluoride in the body are multiple. It interferes with the metabolism, uh, enzymes in the body, competes with iodine. Anyone for a bite? Back in the 70s, school teacher Mrs. Marsh's anti tooth decay ad campaign sang the benefits of brushing with fluoride. Look, pretend this liquid is the fluoride in Colgate Fluoroguard, and this chalk is your tooth. Look at that. It does get in. Fluoridated toothpaste, along with fluoridated drinking water, are credited with stopping tooth decay in generations of Australians. This is the treatment plant where the fluoride was added. First added to Adelaide's tap water in 1971, fluoride in recommended levels is in 90% of South Australia's drinking water supply. But a new wave of detractors and studies say it's a nasty toxin linked to thyroid disorders that can damage kids' IQs, cause weight gain, fatigue, depression, and is even linked to cancer. And we should get rid of it. With fluoridated water, you have a system of mass medication. You're, you're putting a substance into water, but you're actually treating people and all ages, all types. 87-year-old grandmother, Sybil Primrose, along with parents of four, Damien and Ros Malcolm, petitioned against keeping fluoride in Stanthorpe, Queensland's water after it was introduced in 2011. They're not against fluoride per se, but they strongly object to it being ingested into the body when we drink. It was mandated by um, someone on high, um, and I had no personal choice in it. Every state and territory in Australia has fluoridated public water, but around the nation, dozens of councils have removed it. Queensland is the most anti-fluoride. 24 councils have recently voted to reject it from their town's water supply. Fluoride in water is very, very safe. Before fluoride was put into the water, there was already fluoride in the water. There is already fluoridation in all water supplies, whether they are fluoridated or not. All water fluoridation does is top up the natural level to an optimal level for dental benefits. The National Health and Medical Research Council is about to review fluoride's health effects. But currently, the NHMRC and the Australian Dental Association strongly recommend fluoridating our water supply to prevent tooth decay. Dentist Dr Michael Foley. All of the reputable health bodies in Australia say that fluoride is safe and effective. Dr Foley says the results are patently obvious. If I see a patient who has excellent teeth, no decay, I automatically say, you're not from Queensland, are you? And invariably, they will be from Sydney or Perth or possibly Townsville, which has been fluoridated for 50 years. I think it's unfair for people who oppose fluoride to be, uh, or fluoridated water, not necessarily fluoride, uh, to be labelled as nutters, because we're far from that. Dentist Dr Prue King argues there are unknown risks to our general health by adding the chemical to our water. The fact that there is a possibility that they might be affecting your general health for the sake of passing over your teeth in a topical way makes me feel that there's a much better way to get fluoride onto the teeth than swallowing the water. It was a question of ethics, you know, why are you putting this stuff in the water? Fluoride will reduce the decay by 20%, 40%, something like that. And it will reduce it for everybody from zero to 100.